Uh. I don't know if you know that if we get the game. Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, Funk Roberts here, and today I've got an awesome metabolic superset for you. I'm calling this one my fat incinerator because this workout is not only gonna help you build a bit of muscle, you know, carve out some lean muscle, but also incinerate unwanted fat and calories, specifically not during, but after you're done. So this superset, I love these workouts because again, you can hit total body and uh, you know, in a short period of time. So today we are going to do what I call my metabolic supersets. Now this one, we're doing three separate rounds. And in each round, there's gonna be three exercises. One upper body, one lower body, one core, and then we're gonna have a rest. So we're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds of work, right? One after the other, followed by a 30 second rest, and then repeat for three full rounds. That's gonna be one round. That's gonna be done, you're gonna be finished with that set. The second set, we're gonna introduce a new set of exercises, another upper body, another lower body, another core, and you'll do the same thing for that set, and then we'll do it again for the third set. So again, it's great because we're really hitting the body, total body with different exercises, different muscles, but we're using the metabolic protocol, which has us moving from one exercise to another. It's just like circuit, circuit training, but the key for this is that you get that afterburn effect, that epoch, that not only will you be burning calories during, but one of the, you're gonna be burning calories after you're done, hours and hours and hours after you're done. So that's why. This is great. So in this workout, we're gonna be using dumbbells and body weight. So make sure that you have all the dumbbells available. Um, if you watch the demo, if you're doing this in my membership site, then you watch the demo so you know the exercises. So we're gonna start with, the, let me just give you the three first exercises that we're doing. We're gonna be doing a dumbbell chest press from the floor. We're gonna be doing, um, what are we doing? We're doing a, a, oh, dumbbell suitcase swings and then also um, ab bicycles, okay? I've got the timer. Get your dumbbells ready for the first exercise. Make sure you've done a warm up before. All right, let's do this, guys. And uh, we're gonna start off with floor dumbbell chest press in five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, okay. So I'm starting a little late, but you guys get going right off the bat with your dumbbell chest press. I'm using 30s, that's the heaviest I have. I advise you for the first round, just use, you know, just get that warm up, right? Because we're gonna be doing two more, right? Nice press, make sure those elbows hit the floor, straight up above your head, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. We're hitting those pecs right off the bat. Okay, now we're gonna go to suitcase swings. We've gotta move quickly throughout. So here with suitcase swings, it's like skier swings. So you're swinging the kettlebells beside your body. You're doing a bit of a hip hinge. The good thing about this exercise is that it hits your quads, okay? And a little bit of the glutes, but this is more quads. And make sure that your knees are pointed out. Don't let your knees buckle like that. Keep them pointed out. Exhale on the way up, good. Next exercise, ab bicycles. Let's go quick, move quick. Good, so this one here, entire ab and core region. Some rotation, so we're gonna hit the obliques. Kick those out, right? Get the knees, try to get elbows to your knees. Make sure the back is off the ground. At least your shoulders. Your hands are placed by your ears. Good work, okay. 30 second rest. So as you can see, we have to move fast, right? Gotta move fast through these exercises. We got a 30 second rest, probably about 15. So now, during this rest, get ready to start that first exercise, right? Inhale, get the oxygen in. Now you may, be, may wanna go a little bit heavier with this dumbbell chest press. I'm gonna get down, ready for this round. Go. Good. Exhale, try to move as fast as you can but I don't want you to sacrifice the weight. I want you to go as heavy as you can, moving as fast as you can. The second round though, you're probably gonna feel a little bit more like I am right now. With the 30s, I can still feel it, because I'm moving fast, straight up over my eyes. Keep going, good work. Let's get up quickly, move quickly. Let's go with skier swings. I'm gonna go from the side so you guys can see. 
the way. So now, try to explode a little bit. Bring those, those dumbbells back and just let them swing. I don't want you to move them. My arms are just here holding the kettlebell, the dumbbells. And again, don't lean back. Stay nice and tall. Use your glutes and quads for that movement. Okay, let's go out bicycles. I'm gonna get down here. Hopefully I have enough room. Keep going, good. Just try to straight, straight, straighten the legs when you kick out. Keep going. Rotate, feel, the, feel your abs. Good. Oh, man, I'm feeling it now, I'm feeling it now. I'm gonna just stay here. So, it's the last round for this set. Um, yeah, the, I'm really starting to feel the chest. I don't know if you guys are too, but again, you know, you wanna go as fast as you can, but you also wanna make sure that you're using challenging weight. If you're using 20s and you're just ripping them up and not feeling anything, then there's no use, right? Here we go. Doesn't matter if your legs are here, if your legs are up. We're all just trying to hit the pecs, the chest. You're gonna feel this in your triceps. You're gonna feel this in your shoulders. I love metabolic workouts because I don't have to worry about counting. Ah, just have to worry. Oh, keep going. Ah, triceps burning. Oh, good work. Ooh. My last set was tough. Let's get back up quickly. Let's do those uh, swings, suitcase swings. Again, you can go heavy with these too. So make sure you bend over a bit. Don't squat down, okay? You wanna use that hip hinge, right? You're not squatting down, because if you squat down, then that means your arms are gonna be doing the work. You don't want your arms to be doing the work. It's a lower body exercise. All right, let's finish off with our bicycles. Oh, here we go. Nice and fast. Make sure your shoulders are off the ground, rotating from side to side. Keep going. You're doing great. Kick out straight. I want you to kick those legs out straight. Keep going, guys. You're crushing it. I'm loving it. Good work. There you go, that's round one. I'm happy round one's done. You're gonna rest for 90 seconds right now. Get some water, stretch out your arms, and get ready for set number two. In 90 seconds, get back here, no later. We're gonna start with set number two and three more exercises. See you in a second. Okay guys, Funk Roberts back with round number two. Okay, in this round we've got three new exercises. Those exercises are uh, bent over alternating rows. Then we have the dumbbell squat or goblet squat. And then we have the plank buzzsaw, okay? So again, 30 seconds each. I've got the timer. We're gonna start off with bent over rows. I got 20, they're alternating. In five, four, three, two, one. There we go, okay. Alternating bent over rows. So make sure your back is straight, right? Shoulders are back. Rowing straight up and down. Focusing on the lats doing the movement. Bringing those dumbbells all the way down. Keeping your butt pointed back to the wall. Oof. Rolling up by your hips. Keep going. Good work, next exercise. Dumbbell squats. Good, so you got the dumbbells by the side this time. Keeping your knees pointed out. So you're not gonna be able to sit back as far. Straight up and down. Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Good. Try to get as low as you can. Again, this is round one, so. Good work. Let's get down for buzz saws. So get in a plank position, and then you're gonna go forward and back. Good. So just forward and back on your toes. 
we're again with the core, trying to hit the entire core region. If you just have to go in a plank, that's fine too. Good work. Let's rest for 30 seconds. Deep breaths through your nose, out to your mouth. And again, back to the first exercise, which will be bent over alternating rows. You don't have to go too heavy with these because you are trying to move as fast as you can. I got 20s and I started to feel them at the end. Let's get them ready. I'm gonna move on this side now. Point those hips back. And I just want you alternating. So as one comes down, the other one comes up. And try to row these by their hips. Speed up. I got 20, so if you had lighter ones, you'd probably go a lot faster than I can. Core tight, you gotta keep that core tight during this movement. Good work, okay. Dumbbell squats. Boom, down. Good. So now you see it's a little bit more faster squat. More continuous. We're trying to get as many reps as we can during the 30 seconds. Down and up. Point those knees out. Keep going. Keep going. Good work. Back down for butt sauce. Get in that plank position. Forward and back. Breathe. Breathe. Keep that core tight. This is one of those awesome dynamic plank exercises. Keep going. Oh. Good work, okay. Let's rest for 30 seconds. Uh. Breathe throughout your nose, through your nose. This round I'm gonna talk less, try to get as many reps as I can. Oh. You're doing great, guys. Here we go. Let's crush this round. As many reps as we can. Let's crush this round, guys. Deep through your nose, let your mouth, let's go. Keep going. Down, pull, pull. Keep pulling, let's go. Core tight. Dumbbell squats. We're trying to burn calories here, guys. But we're not sacrificing weight. You wanna go as heavy as you can. Keep the heels on the ground. Just holding these things are killing me right now. Body nice and tall, shoulders back, core tight, heels to the ground. Knees pointed out. Good. Down on the ground. Buzz off, let's go, let's go. Core tight, butt straight, or body straight. Oh. Good, keep going. Keep that core tight, guys. We're building strong cores. We're building a bulletproof core. Ah, that's what we're here for. Keep going, time. Great work, second round done. I'll see you in the third. All right guys, round number three, three new exercises. Upper body, we're gonna do forward front raises. Sorry, let's try again. Okay guys, round number three. This is it, our final round, so let's do give it our all, give it our best. We've got three new exercises. We've got front shoulder raises. We're going with just regular body weight forward lunges and finally lying leg races okay so let's go let's finish off strong 30 seconds five four three two one here we go with forward raises shoulder raises boom here we go i'm using tens you don't need to remember shoulders you don't want to go too heavy right you don't need to it's a small mock wall it's an accumulation of small 
small muscles. And if you do injure your shoulder, you're screwed. So try to keep that arm just slightly bent. And as you can see right now, I'm, I'm forward a bit, right? So knees bent a bit, leaning forward, which will really hit the, uh, the shoulders. And I'll explain that to you in a second. Let's go forward lunges, right? We're doing forward lunges, body's tall, stepping forward, pushing back with that front leg and trying to move fast, right? We're already warmed up. But again, it's the first time we're doing this movement. So the key to this exercise, you wanna keep your core tight. Core tight. Because for some of you, your legs are probably toast right now. And now we're gonna get back down and do lying, oh, lying leg raises. Ooh. Lying leg raises. So I want your shoulders off the ground if you can, right? I want your legs straight and keep the small of your back on the ground, right on the ground. Which means push your back into the ground as hard as you can, which will focus on the core doing the movement. Good, good. I think I tweaked my knee there, but okay. So with the forward, with the front raises, very important that your body's bent over quite a bit and then you're bringing the dumbbells up and you're trying to get your shoulder close to your ears. You really target those front, uh, the shoulders, front part of your shoulders. A lot of people do this wrong. They try to keep their arms straight and they're not bent forward. So we really want to target the shoulder. So bend over a bit, roll your shoulders back, boom. As you can see, I've got a slight bend in the arms too, but I'm bringing my, trying to bring my biceps up to my ears and not going too far up because I want to keep tension on the shoulder. Good. Up and focus on just the shoulder doing the work. Don't use momentum. Good work. Let's go with uh, forward lunges. Boom. Step. Boom. Push up. Boom. Good. Keep going. Try to move as fast as you can, which means you're going to have a, need to have a little bit of coordination. Core's got to be tight. You got to really focus on the movement. Step, push, step, push. Don't drag your feet. I don't want you dragging your feet. Lift that front foot off the ground when you step back. Good, back on the ground. Let's do some leg, leg, leg raises again. Good. And keep your hands to the side and really focus on making sure that your, all your entire back, especially the lower part of your back, is on the ground. Exhale on the way up. Exhale on the way up. Good, keep going. You guys are crushing it right now. This one's more about focusing on the abs, doing the work. Good work, 30 seconds rest. Let's finish up. Now, if you wanna go a little heavier with the front raises, because you feel like whatever weight you're using is just not challenging you, you can. But please be careful. And make sure that you focus on the technique. Because the last thing you want are shoulder injuries. Once you have shoulder injuries then, now you can't do anything. You can't do anything. You're very limited. Just the lower body stuff. And even then, depending on what exercise you're doing, your shoulders come to play. Okay, here we go. Boom. Good. I'm gonna stand to the side a bit. Good. Bent over, core tight too. And just focus on the arm on your shoulders. I could have probably gone to. 15s would be good for me. I got 10s right now. 15s would be perfect. Again, we're not going too high because we want to keep that tension on the front part of your shoulders. You're going to feel this in your entire shoulder region, but ah, eh, good, good work. Let's go forward lunges. I'm going to keep the 10s. I'm going to do some jump lunges. You don't have to do these. I'm just taking it to the next level as we're ending. Jump. Jump, really frying those legs now. Body tall, explode, explode, explode. Keep going, guys. Oh, almost there. Woo, that's hurt, man. Good work. All right, oh, ab. Ab leg raises, line leg raises. Remember, I don't want you to put your hands underneath your butt. I want you to focus on pushing the lower body 
doing that pelvic tilt, making sure lower part of your back is on the ground. Up. You guys might be thinking, Funk, you're talking a lot. But I'm just trying to give you cues. Exhale on the way up. You just focus on what you're doing. I'm just here to keep your mind off the workout. But we crushed it, guys. We crushed it and we did it together. I'm so proud of you. You guys are awesome. I love you very much. Thank you so much for doing this workout with me. Again, metabolic, you can see, short period of time, we hit the entire body, entire region. This is a perfect time now. Breathe, catch your breath, grab a drink, and then do some ab and core. Really totally focused ab and core exercise or workout that we'll finish off and then stretch after. You guys are awesome. I'm so happy you worked out with me and I'll see you in the next workout. Get it done. Hope you enjoyed that workout. Please make sure that you leave your comments below. Let me know what you thought of that workout. Like this, share this. And again, if you want any type of workouts, please leave your comments. Let me know. You guys are awesome. And if you want a free 28 day ab and core workout program with follow along workouts, absolutely free. And I'll take you through each day, guiding you through 28 day challenge. Click the link below or somewhere on this video and I'll see you in the next video. Like that one right there. Get it done.